everyone, it's been another long pause since my last video, I'm sorry, but as you can see, I am right now in a new apartment. Yeah, I moved to a new city, it's Nuremberg. Uh, it's the 14th largest city in Germany and the second largest city in Bavaria. I don't know if you have heard about the city, but it's really beautiful here. It's got a lot of historical buildings, um, many fairy tale like architecture, uh, they even preserve the old city wall very well. So when you have a chance, definitely come to pay a visit. I'm sure you're gonna love it here as well. But today I'm not going to talk about the city, I'm going to focus on what I call the biggest entertainment during the lockdown because those are the only places that are still open right now here in Germany. So they are the supermarkets. I should have done this video long before when I first moved to Germany, when I still had my fresh eye, when I was still in the big culture shock. But I feel like I can still do it right now because there are still things that I find hard to get used to. So here are the count list, count down list of the eight strangest things that I found in the supermarket here in Germany. Let's get started. Strange thing number one, the name. Even though they're called supermarket here, I find them hardly uh, live up to the name super because many of the supermarkets here, they're quite small, unlike the big warehouse style, big supermarket in America and Australia where you have a lot of space and giant aisle. And here, um, many stores are quite packed and the products on the shelves are quite uh, limited. If you want to buy laundry products or you know beauty um, products or cosmetics, it's better for you to go to other a drugstore like DM or Hosman, uh, even though they're called drugstore, they're not like the pharmacies like CVS or Walgreens because you cannot uh, get prescribed the medicine from there. Uh, most of like the supermarket here, like Aldi, Lidl, Hiva, I would just call them grocery stores because you know they selling food mostly, um, but there are. Uh, like big supermarket what I find they like the real supermarket for example a real or here in German and uh, Kaufland they're quite big and you can even buy appliance you can even buy like clothing in those supermarkets but those stores are not really common they're not like you know around the corner in the city or something and normally they're kind of in the suburban area but those are the supermarket for the most supermarket what people call supermarket I would just call them a grocery store <laughs> strange thing number two the shopping cart so before you go to a store you better prepare some coins because you need it in order to uh, use the shopping cart it's not free I mean it's kind of free because you can get the coin back but you still need the coin. Uh, so basically you put your coin into the slot and then you can pop one uh, shopping cart out and then after your shopping, you came back, you can just use the little stick and uh, to just uh, push your coin out and have your coin back. Uh, so when I first came here, I found this really strange because what if I don't have coin and I have to just, you know, carry everything just in my, in my arm or something so yeah but then now I'm kind of used to it uh, but for you who just came here you know definitely always prepare some coins strength thing number three vegetable in pots sometimes the vegetable section in the supermarket here are like flower shops because you often find those vegetable especially herbs like basil and they put it in a pot and then you can actually grow further back home just make sure you know the herbs are fresh and also organic so i wouldn't call this strange thing i actually really like the idea i would call it like maybe creative idea and i wish i could see this even more in other parts of the world strange thing number four eggs are not in the fridge Again, this is not a strange thing. It's just, you know, different country has different policy and a different way of collecting eggs and different regulations. So yeah, so here in Germany, the eggs are not in the fridge. And if you want to look for eggs, you 
go to the vegetable sections or the, the milk section uh, where you can find piles of eggs just in the regular shelf, not in the fridge. Strange thing number five, drinks. So many alcoholic drinks and they're just in the regular shelf. It's nothing that, you know, in the States or in, in Australia, there's a person who card you and you need to show your ID. That's not the case here. And here it's just like buying any other soft drinks and nobody asks me for my ID. Maybe I'm just getting too old, but anyways. And also a lot of drinks here, they kind of look like soft drink, but has alcohol in it. So pay definitely pay extra attention to that. Talking about drinks, then come to the strange thing number six, the bottle recycling system, which is another fascinating feature that I really like about the German market um, because it's a really great way to encourage people to recycle. Uh, how that works? So basically when you buy almost every plastic bottle drink, then you actually pay this 25 cents extra and you can recycle those bottles in those big giant machines either outside of the supermarket or in the supermarket and then you will get uh, a coupon and you can use this coupon to shop at the supermarket. So yeah, I also hope to see that more in other parts of the world. Strange thing number seven, which is probably the most annoying one, is the checkout counter. So here in Germany, they don't have a person who help you to pack and not only that, the checkout counter is really, really small and short, which means you don't have enough space and time to pack your things. That can be very embarrassing, especially when the people behind you, they only shop like one or two items, so you feel like being pushed. Um, but I find that uh, the more premier the supermarkets are, the longer the counter uh, are also. Uh, for example, uh, as I mentioned, supermarket like a real uh, Kaufland and also in Etika, the counters are relatively longer. But for the less premier one, for example, uh, Netto, Penny or Lido and Audi, uh, you really need to hurry. Um, otherwise, it's, it can be very embarrassing. I know, I understand, you know, you just want the flow go uh, more quickly, but as a customer, you know, it's a, uh, yeah, there can be some improvement. <laughs> Strange thing number eight, supermarkets are closed on Sundays. Yeah. Oh, and also closed on holidays. Yeah, period. Uh, well, you may ask, well, what if I want to shop on Sunday? What if I don't, you know, run off eggs or run off milk on Sunday? Uh, well, you just have to stock up on Saturdays. So yeah, those are the eight strange things that I found in the supermarket here in Germany. If you notice some other different things or you have some other ideas, feel free to comment below. I will be very happy to hear from you. I also wish to update my next video as soon as possible. I'm thinking something like showing people around here in the city. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned to see you soon.